guys. I'm Chad. Uh, I'm with Nola Shop Nore. Uh, today I'll be giving a review on a product that I rate as five stars and the reasons why I rate it as five stars. So if you want to see uh, the product in real life and it'll help you with your shopping decision, just uh, stay tuned and continue watching. Thank you. Okay, see so guys, let's get into another one. Uh, today we are reviewing the Tamron 20mm F2.8 uh for the sony mirrorless full frame camera okay so uh this lens i rate as five stars and i will get into that in a minute i can get the entire wall and the floor from top to bottom just standing about eight or nine feet away okay guys so i know you're wondering why i have this obscure little you know little known lens rated as five stars so like i say i always get into it i like to give the reasons why they're five stars uh first and foremost definitely you know how i always go affordability um and quality and you know portability uh with this lens uh the main uh reason why i like this lens it's because it's a prime lens, right? So with prime lenses, you usually get a little bit better image quality and they're usually a little bit faster than like a zoom. So this is a 20 millimeter F2.8 by Tamron. Okay, so it's not a Sony native lens. So usually being a third party lens, they're a little more affordable, right? So it's a Tamron. So it's not gonna be as expensive as a native Sony lens. Um, the reason why I have this lens in my collection is because it is really wide, 20 millimeters. I mean, that is really, really wide for a prime lens. And I like the fact that I can get a little bit wider than 24 or 28 with any of my zoom lenses. It's a autofocus lens, so it can autofocus. Not that you really need to autofocus if you're shooting uh, stop down a good bit and that's what I like about this lens. It's fast enough and it's really wide for a prime lens and the image quality I would give image quality 8.5 out of 10 doesn't have great contrast or the great Sony colors But it is pretty sharp Which I like smoother looking shots anyway when it comes to my video I want my video to be a little more smooth and not as sharp. So I do like that anyway. It doesn't bother me. That's why I like this lens. That's why it has five stars. And we all know affordability will always be a factor to me because it's just about, you know, especially if you're doing it for a living, you know, you can, you don't have to put as much into it and still make a profit so instead of putting ten thousand in you can put four thousand in and pocket the other six thousand that you would have spent on more expensive gear for pretty much the same output or similar um and if you're just a hobbyist and you know you don't need to spend a ton of money to enjoy your passion and that's why like affordability is a big factor to me so and that's a lot of my five star reviews come from that knowing what you're paying for and like I said, this one brand new, 250 bucks, 230 bucks, something like that. Uh, you can get it used for around 200. So like I said, within that range, 200 to 250 dollars, you can get this lens brand new. And like I said, it's really, really wide, and you can add that style of photography to you know your, uh, I guess, what you offer, provide, or what you're into. So that's that's the reason why I like this lens. This is why it's five stars because you're going to be very hard to find an affordable lens at this focal length uh, with a really good quality that this one provides. So, like like I said, it's it's found its own little niche as far as its focal length and affordability, and that's why I rated this five stars. And if you have enough money to just add little things to your collection like this. This is one I would recommend. So uh, we're going to check the uh, image quality on it a little bit. In a second, I'm going to hook that up to the camera. So, yeah, I can show you what those images look like and how wide it can get for you. 